without the crunch. I hate when it's crunchy. I hate crunchy curls. Like that is one of my pet peeves. Perfect, like it's just a fresh, fresh but like strong in a way, but kind of feminine. Obviously I'm not good at description. <laughs> Guys, this doesn't work. So I'm like, well then I'm really as well because if my phone dies, which it does all the time, Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to bring you my March favorites. These are the things that I have been loving this past March and I guess you could say February as well. Um, but just a couple of favorites about, I think there's nine products that I've been loving and I want to share them with you. We'll just do makeup first. Okay, so I wanted something that I could just like put something over my skin to like give me an even complexion, um, put mascara, eyebrows, and go. And what I've been using was the Garnier BB Cream. This is in the shade Medium Deep. And I found this at, I think it was Walmart for like $5. And I was like, why is it different with the acne treatment? It has salicylic acid in it. Um, and I think it's because they just changed the packaging. So the packaging looks completely different. Um, but I've been loving this for just on my face go. I just basically do that, do this instead of lotion. Um, so I grab a couple squirts and then just rub it around. And it is awesome. Then you just set it with powder. But I've been loving this. And... I guess, I'm guessing that the new packaging is the same. It's just the same, but it's just new packaging. So check it out if you can. It's I think it's like $12 or $13. I bought two and they were on sale, so I have a backup already, but um, love this stuff. You don't need that much. Second thing that I, um, since it's wrong foundation, this is um, Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation, and it's an SPF 15. I'm in the shade Warm Beige 3.5. I bought this, I think it was last year, the year before. It was definitely last year, last summer, right before I got tan, you can tell because I have it on right now and I'm not tan at all. Um, before I got like super tan, I love this. I think it's just, it just, I don't know, it just looks like your skin. Like, you know, it's like, gives you like, again, an even complexion. When I wear makeup, I don't like to know that I have a lot of makeup on. Um, so this just looks like my skin covers redness, covers up my redness that I got on my cheeks and on my nose. Um, and I love this stuff. You put one pump on, it's definitely buildable, um, which I like. Um, and then I put like extra on my cheeks and my nose because I get a little red there, but it's awesome. And then I set it afterwards and I'm good to go. So Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation, love it. Uh, next product, I know that everyone talks about it and I guess I just am late to the bandwagon. I never wanted to spend that much money on it, but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to bite the bullet and do it. And that is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Um, I love the fact that it's compact. It's a little square. It's a little thicker, but, and I also love that it comes with a brush. I think that is genius and then this is the bronzer love it love it love it have it on right now i like to just warm up my face so i do like uh the three again just the three and warm it up um sometimes i do this and my bb cream and just to bronze up my face a little bit and use it as a blush as well and i love it so but if a hula i would definitely ooh, definitely repurchase it again um but I still have a lot left, so you know I'm doing good. But I love this stuff. If you have not tried it, you should. If not, get a mini sample, see if you like it. Then you'll want to go buy the full size. Second, nope, fourth. Um, this is a blush that I bought last year. And I love it. It's my go-to. I wear it for everything. Like, this is the only brush blush that I wear. Um, and I'm actually wearing it today, which is um, Clinique's Cheek Pop in... Nude Pop. I also have Melon Pop and I love that for spring, but I've just been loving this color. It's very nude. I have the nude lipstick as well that goes with it, um, but I love this. It's just perfect. Goes with you. I have it on now. It's just, I don't know. I just, I just love it. Like I said, I don't like to, I don't want to know that I have a lot of makeup on. I don't want you to know that I have a lot of makeup on, and this just makes me feel like I have no makeup on. It just gives you a little bit of something, you know? So love that. Let's see, this is the fifth product. Um, this is Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in the shade Nude Thrill. I have it on. Love it. Um, it's, do you think it's matte? I have a little, I have some some chapstick underneath it, but I just love this show. I love the color. I love the wearing power of it. I just think it's so pretty. Maybelline. I'm going to swatch it. I have it on. You don't probably want me to swatch it too, but. I'll swatch it. It's like that kind of like your lips put better, but also like the Kylie Jenner lip, you know? Love. Uh, next is Becca Shimoon Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Um, this is with Jaclyn Hill. I was so late 
to this bandwagon and I'm so glad that I found it. Everywhere I went to buy it was always sold out. Finally it wasn't so I had to pick it up. It is the prettiest highlight you can ever 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 want in life. Can you tell I have it on? Ooh 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 ooh. Love this stuff. Would have repurchased it again over and over again. It's right there. See that? Oh it's just so pretty. So pretty so pretty. Love this. Love the packaging. Very sleek. Love the clothes. Becca just did it with that one. Love it. Next thing is Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. However, I love this stuff. However, that should have that's where the however should have been. I love this stuff. Love the smell. I could bathe in this stuff. Like, love it. The only thing that I would say that I don't like about it is that I feel like my hair doesn't get as moisturized. Um... Like, I feel like it gives it shine. I just don't feel like the moisture part is 100% true. I like when I can, like, feel, like, the conditioning, like, working with my hands. And I feel like it I just feels like my hair, whenever I spray it in, I mean, my hair is fine. But love the smell of it. I already have a second bottle. I'm almost out. Love the smell. If you guys need a leave-in conditioner, I would try it. See if you like it. Nothing wrong with trying something and you never buy it again. Um, but I love the smell. It gives me shine. It makes my hair feel nice. Um, in the morning. However, I don't like that it doesn't, I can't feel the moisture. So I would definitely, I would buy it again, but I 100% would recommend my, the Aveeno Nourish Leave-In Conditioner that I did my favorites. I love that stuff. That I can feel the moisture in my hair. Next is Miss Jessie's Multicultural Curls. Um, I, this is like five, ten dollars. I don't know. It's at Target and you just put it in your hair. You can, um, I get my hair wet in the morning and I put this in my hair and I scrunch it and you can use a diffuser if you want. I like to do air dry. Depends on where I'm going, honestly. Um, but like on an interview, I did um, blow dry, I did the diffuser. Um, but I just love what this does to my curls. It brings out my natural curl and without the crunch. I hate when it's crunchy. I hate crunchy curls. Like that is one of my pet peeves. Um, so having a product that doesn't give me crunchy curls and it is a moisturizing product, I love it. So this is Miss Jessie's Multicultural Curls. And it smells, it smells good. It doesn't smell bad at all. So there's that. Next thing is the Ness Indigo Perfume. I got this for a birthday gift from the people that I housed it for. I'm literally almost out. Can you see that? Down there. Ooh. This camera always confuses. It's all the way down the bottom. Love it. It's like the perfect, like it's just a fresh, fresh but like... Strong in a way, but kind of feminine. Obviously, I'm not good at description. <laughs> but this is perfect. I would buy the full size until I saw the retail value. So this might just be a perk for mine, like a present for me. But love this stuff. Would repurchase it. Maybe get another rollerball. And I like that this is small. So you can just stick it in your purse or a going out purse if you want. It's just a small little, not like one of the big, you know. Um, genius. The last thing is my Apple Watch. I'm going to take it off. I bought it. Oh, I just got lipstick. Oh, much right off. Um, I bought it for, um, for, I bought it on Valentine's Day. And this is the Apple Watch in the 42 millimeter case, uh, or face, I'm sorry. Um, and I love it. It like, it's so convenient. So convenient. So, so, so convenient. I love it. Um, the only thing that I would say is that I wish that when your phone died, this would still go. Does that make sense? Because I know it's, it's, it's connecting to your phone, but when your phone dies, this doesn't work. So I'm like, well, then I'm really SOL because if my phone dies, which it does all the time, I'm like, I still want my Apple Watch, but I can't because it's connected to my phone. So that's the thing that I wish they would change, but I love it, you know, however else. It's an awesome product. It was like I said, on the price, oh, I didn't say that. It's on the pricier side. It's like, I think it was like five or six hundred dollars. Um, but, you know, it's convenient, especially when I'm at work and I don't want to pull my phone and I can't pull out my phone. It's nice to just get a little beep. Oh, that person's calling. Okay, I'll call them later. It's just so convenient when you can't look at your phone or in a business meeting or something. I just feel like it's just a convenient little gadget to have. So, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I will leave down what I'm wearing down in the description bar and my nails too. I always, 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 always will put my nail color down below because I hate it because I always, I look at nails. That's the one thing I look at in videos is nails 
and I was always like, oh, I like that color. What is it? And they never write it down and it really stresses me out. So I got you. I'll always write it down. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in my next video. XOXO with love, Taylor.